guys, I'm gonna do a day in my life. I just got over the flu. This is the first day I'm leaving the house. So I'm just putting on some light makeup. Apparently it's a nice day out. I'm gonna go get coffee and go to my mom's house. I was being gentle. I don't want it to go on my phone. Guys, just you know, getting eaten by the spaghetti monster. Well, I, I fucking missed it. But yeah, so I went to Target, got a coffee. Um, and I got creamer and oranges. And then I went to clean out my car, got all the dead french fries out, the dead ones. And now here we go. I'm getting pelted. I'm getting a car wash. I've literally only had one other car wash of this. So I'm not a car wash girl, but I was like, why not? And spaghetti monster! Feels so much better than to be sick right now. God, I love life when I'm not sick. Hey guys, I'm back home now. So after my car wash, I went and picked up my mom and we went to the DMV and Walmart, always going to Walmart every day. But um, she needed to get some stuff. So I, I went with her and um, my dad actually <laughs> bought me two new pots. This one is a cute little hanging pot. And then I got one inside of it, which I'm actually going to put something in it right now. And I thought, why not just do it on the vlog since I'm vlogging? This, is, this was two fifty. I mean, this is a cute little tiny pot. And it's perfect for a plant that's been propagating for some time. And I have plenty of those to choose from. So let me decide on which one. I'm going to get my sweater off here. Do you guys want to see me take my sweater off? Like that one arm that way? And then I take my arm out the other side. <laughs> How to take a sweater off tutorial. Let me put you in this little tripod. I haven't eaten anything today, so I'm a little, like, jazzed. Okay, let's see what I got in here. I say it's dangerous because, look, I take this out. It's, like, connected to everything every which way. I might take more than one little propagation out. I'll take I'll take a look at these. Look at that. And this one. I'm going to I'm going to do Okay. Let's see here. Oh, stop it. No. Excuse me, other plants. Okay. I'm going to find a little mixture out of these three but hold up that is an instagram pic right there cute <clears throat> in the sunlight oh yeah i gotta take a pic okay how's that for golden hour okay Ooh. i i, I got my my uh bin full of dirt here from my mom um i i, I didn't grab it since i moved but this was in there this is a perfectly oh there's no drainage well it was perfect until they saw that we'll, we'll figure that out Any, anyway that's not what we're doing today we're doing this one my first this dirt is like really wet it's weird so what you do first at least what I do first is kind of fill it it's up to here Anyway, I haven't even decided what to choose. I think I'm gonna do like a philodendron pothos mix, okay? This one has been propagating forever. Forever. I think that this is a marble queen. It looks like it. It just doesn't look very white. But look at those roots. This is gonna just be left the way that it is. Isn't that so much cuter than that? This one should have pretty decent roots, right? Oh, and it does. So I'm going to do this one as well. This is a philodendron, partly philodendron, and the roots look like that. 
I'm gonna stick that in there. That is gonna be enough out of this little bundle. I'm gonna leave this how it is. Oh, one fell out. Fell out. Okay, and this is a golden pothos. This should have decent roots. Okay. Well, then that's what I'm doing today, boys and girls. That might have been too much dirt. I want to add more on top so it, like, stays in. It's weighed down and stays in. So I'm dumping some out. <laughs> you know, you once you feel around it, you figure it out. It's about halfway now. Okay, I'm just going to stick one in at a time. This one's kind of... not trailing yet or very tall so i'm just gonna have this one in the middle let's see can you see what i'm doing yes i'm just gonna leave this one in the middle since it's the most standing upright one and then i'm gonna add this marble queen to the side like that. It's kind of going leaning that way. So then I'm going to have the other one leaning the other way. And this is a philodendron. Hopefully this goes just perfectly fine. Having a bucket is good or like a bin to do this is wonderful because then you don't have to worry about making a mess everywhere. You can just make a mess inside of the bin. Okay. If that one kind of falls over, that's all right. Because it's just going to do whatever it's going to do anyway. Okay. This is just a vlog, so I'm sorry about the lighting. It's not professional. You know, it's just a vlog. I'm just, I'm vlogging it. Okay. And I kind of like to go like this to kind of settle it, settle all the air pockets if there are any. So that's done and I kind of got dirt on the floor, but that's okay because it's hardwood. Oh, I'm just itching my nose, excuse me. So this is what it ended up looking like. But once it fills out, I hope it looks amazing. I'm gonna water it with you guys. I've already got a plant in this sink watered. This is the one I just watered because it very, very desperately needed it. Let me put this back where it goes. Mm, that's this one. It looks terrible, but it'll perk back up. So I'm going to take the drainage out. This little thing. Dirt will come out, I'm sure. Nope, not yet. And I'm just going to give it a little water. In the meantime, I'm going to eat my leftover pasta from last night that I made. I'm just going to microwave it. That's what I'm feeling right now. Microwave. Pink bowl. <laughs> I have got to clean in the kitchen it's like not even it's you're in a strainer right now you're in a pasta strainer but um it's not even that i like let my kitchen get dirty it's the fact that like it's three things on the counter and it's dirty because it's so tiny but <clears throat> i was i was gonna make um cheesy bread but i'm over it Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just going to eat this pasta. And then... Anyway, um... I'm going to eat this and oranges and yogurt. And I'm going to have... 
Do I just need to keep repeating myself? I can have string cheese. Um, I'm gonna have a little Activia. And two mandarins. They're not oranges. I lied. And finished my coffee. And then I'm gonna have my magnesium and iron. And I'm also gonna have another vitamin C shot because I still day five of the flu i'm pretty much done but we all know the flu lasts like 20 days doesn't it okay bye i'm taking magnesium and iron right now with a shot of coffee anyway i just wanted to get on here and talk about how amazing it is to feel well when you're not feeling well like i just got over the flu to me trying to vlog last night when I was still feeling sick. That'll be right here. Hey guys, how you doing? <sighs> well, I haven't filmed in a while. And you want to know why? Because I'm on day four of the flu. <sighs> I feel so close right now. But... I'm vlogging for some reason. <laughs> I just, I feel on top of the world. I'm not even at 100% yet. Like I still feel, maybe I'm at like 99, but the, the last four days of my life were horrible. Like the worst four days of my life since like 10 years like I've never felt that sick in my entire life and I just want to say out loud to the world I appreciate not feeling sick like I am so happy that I feel well and I am thankful and grateful and all of the good things about feeling well and actually getting better I honestly didn't think I was gonna get better I thought I was gonna die and I thought I was gonna feel disgusting for the next 24 hours and then die <laughs> so I'm very thankful to feel better anyway I've got to go to work in 10 minutes and I haven't even like got my uniform on or I guess I look fine but yeah so I got to get ready for work and then later tonight I think I'm gonna to go to my mom and dad's house just to hang out for a little bit <laughs> the next day but since I didn't ever really give like a proper peace out last night um I thought I would mm, I thought I would just sit here and say thanks for watching goodbye but also I got a little purse in the mail and I wanted to show you as my final hurrah and you guys let me know what you think of the purse okay you my favorite thing is gold. <laughs> Alright. You guys like it so far? Oh, I'm for sure keeping this. This is so cute. Sneak peek. Don't want you guys to see it yet. Okay, well here's the front. It's a little bumblebee with pearls all over it and it's like a nice like fake leather feeling and the flap opens up and there's actually two more right here to expand it and it's like a, a nice little crossbody bag and that's my favorite kind. You know bees are kind of my thing but I realize that they're kind of everybody's thing now so that's kind of annoying but oh well I started it. Um. 
how cute is this little clutch though like grab and go buzz 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 it's super cute let's see the chain oh it's really short it's not crossbody is there another chain yes there is another one I don't think this is a crossbody bag. Oh, it's tiny. But like I said, perfect for my wallet and my phone. Let's open this. Oh, I think this is supposed to be like fake Gucci or something. Let's hook it on. Is this a fake Gucci bag? Let me know. If it is, that's cool, whatever. But I wasn't intending that. This is the other strap. I kind of don't like the strap on there. It kind of makes it too sporty. I don't know, but it's very cute. I'm going to I'm going to rock the little tiny bag. I like that. Right like right under my arm. Just tucked right under my arm. Buzz buzz. All right. Let me know what you guys think of my new bag. Yay! Thanks for watching. Peace out.